guys, Alec here from Build Nerd. And in today's video, I'll show you my modeling process from going from Blender to a finished 3D print. Let's check it out. Okay, so normally I always uh, recalibrate uh, both my pen as well as the pad itself, which is the VK1560. VK now, it's definitely not necessary to recalibrate every time. Uh, I do just because I like having the pen extremely accessible and accurate. This is just to be sure that everything is working smoothly so that I can go straight into modeling. And then here's a quick shot of my overall setup. Uh, I got my Mac and then I've got my VK1560, which I have opened Blender 2.83. And then I normally wear a glove on the hand just because it uh, helps prevent uh, marks on the screen while I'm modeling. Now I've opened Blender in sculpt mode in Blender 2.83. Now unfortunately I did not record me modeling and sculpting this awesome devil emoji. So I did a really quick uh, rework and in the sculpt mode in Blender. The primary tools I use are the draw, the sharp draw, the snake mode, smoothing which is really great for finishing prints and then as well as the uh, crease. So obviously this is a really crude uh, first workup. Uh, a lot of work would need to be done to finish this model. Uh, I just wanted something to show you guys and how Blender currently works and my process of working. Now I am going to uh, upload the finished model really quick, but as I'm doing this I definitely want to record more of these Blender tutorials and uh, I'm be sure to record one that's way more in detail and very descriptive as to what tools to use. Now the finished model was much bigger because I sized it for my 3D printer. And here's the finished model of the devil that I have. Uh, it's came out, I think, pretty well. I made sure the lines for the 3D print were pretty hard. Uh, I did some creasing around the horns and as well as the eyebrows, the eyes, and the mouth as well. And then I used the smooth tool uh, throughout the print uh, to really give it that finished look. Uh, I normally take it all the way up to 100 in detail for the sculpting tools. The next step is uploading the model into Mesh Mixer, uh, mainly because I want to 3D print this model and it is a perfect sphere. So since it's a sphere, it can't print uh, that well by itself standing up. So what I've done is I did a plane cut on Mesh Mixer and this enables me to uh, create a perfectly flat bottom towards the bottom of the print so this can sit upright on a desk or wherever or even on the build plate uh, without any supports. And then once that plane cut is finished, I move the model over to uh, Simplify 3D, which is my slicing and printing software. I really like Simplify 3D. Uh, it's very easy to use and I'm very happy with it uh, in terms of using it for my Creality CR10. Now, as you can see, the model is a little too big. Uh, I just personally want it a bit smaller than it is. So I just go over into the settings and then it has uniform scaling so I just changed that in the settings. I just did 50% scale so it's a much more manageable sized 3D print. Now once I'm happy with how the model looks and its size and orientation, I go into the slicing software to make sure uh, it's going to print how I want it to print. Uh, as you can see I have a raft on it although I probably do not need that in this instance. I just had that left over in my settings from previously before. And then here you go, I had some Ziltek uh, purple PLA that I used for this. Uh, I do have a slight layer issue uh, towards the horns and then a little bit of a shift towards the bottom. But overall I'm very happy with the print, uh, it came out pretty well. It definitely makes 3D printing a lot cooler knowing that you sculpted this and that this is one of your creations. Uh, it's very cool to see it live and in person. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video and want to see more like it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And until next time, build your nerddom. Survive.